So, what brings you on to this fine day here in D.C.? Well, you know, we're, we're really here to celebrate celebrate our President Donald Trump. You know, it's been just a little bit over a year that, uh, you know, he was inaugurated, and that was a big celebration for everybody. I, well, I, it really should be a celebration for everybody on the right. I know there's a lot of never-Trumpers and stuff like that, but, you know, we're, we're just celebrating Republican victory. We want to keep the, the train rolling, you know, as we're looking forward. And you know, we keep, keep the energy going. Right. What do you think about uh, several of the area of the stances? In the beginning, he was saying that, you know, he's pro-Second Amendment. But he's kind of come out recently in the news saying, you know, let's uh, grab the guns first, due process later. Right. So uh, as far as Trump's most recent stance on uh, the Second Amendment, we're really we're really feeling like he's trying to um, respond to the people. Right. What the people want, because he, he's done a lot of ignoring the left side and, and just and making fun of the left side. So I think that maybe he's trying to throw them a bone because, you know, gun control is such a highly contested issue and I don't think it's going away. So I think with, you know, all the student protests and things like that, he's trying to kind of throw them a bone. I don't really believe that he's going to back, uh, you know, super comprehensive gun control. I think that he might you know, do more incremental gun control that we've seen before, and that's not favorable. No, it's not favorable. All right. He was talking about recently also about uh, increasing maybe the the buying for rifles at age 21. Yes. Well, so if that is the case, and and I, you know, I have obvious criticisms about that as well. Uh, but if that is the case, and, and one thing for the cameras, everybody should know is I'm a little bit more, you know, libertarian. So it's not like, right. you know, I don't back everything Trump does. Nor did I vote for Trump. Actually. Right. Right. So, so it's good to see, like, you can you can criticize it. Sure. Right? Absolutely. You can be critical about mm. his about his policies. Right. Exactly. So you know, he's been saying some things that are kind of left field lately. But then again, we'll see where those go, and, and those those things might stall out. Um, so your right. question was about inc the, in increasing the buying age. Right. So. Uh, I find I find the age of extremely incoherent in this country, and I think that if you have to be 21 to buy alcohol and you know or marijuana, then maybe we should increase the joining age of the military to 21. Maybe we should increase the driving age to 21. So you know, I, I don't think that the age thing is a, a clear-cut issue, right. but I think it should be more uniform because the idea is that we want young people to be. When do young people become, become competent, right? And we just don't know. Right. I mean, if, it, if we went with neuroscience, we'd say 25. When they establish more agency, that's going to be difficult. That's like a exactly. testing issue to find out. That's going to be at an individual level. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, so, you know, maybe there are concerns related to that. I, I don't think that the age is the problem. I mean, I, I work in a, uh, you know, I work with children that shoot guns who are, you know, 12 and 13 years old and they understand you know gun con you know gun control is you know controlling your gun right so so they're they're well aware of those those types of principles i think it has a lot to do with um, if i say mental health that'll sound right you know that'll sound too vague and we know we don't know how to solve that either but i think regarding the whole second amendment thing 50 years ago you could walk into a hardware store and come out with as many guns as you can carry why were there no mass shootings then i think it's i think we're we're in a we're in a sick society. Uh, at least we can safely say gun-free zones are not working at all. Absolutely not. I think gun-free zones are ridiculous, and gun-free zone is really an oxymoron because you're inviting a gun. Right. The right. only person who's who is safe in a gun-free zone is the suitor. Right. Right. 100. Yeah. yeah. And and if anything tells, if if there's any indication that the state is not going to help you, uh, in the most recent. Yes. Shooting, Florida, yes. Yeah, yes. So. A lot of people think that the government here can't protect their life, liberty, property. We just saw forest sheriffs. Yep. <laughs> hiding. The navigation. If, if Somebody said, "Hey, someone's smoking a joint in there. Maybe they would have rushed it." Yeah, Jesse, right. right. Maybe kicking down the door. <laughs> Where's that plan? Go. Shoot the dog. Yeah, right. <laughs> Call the ATF. We need backup. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So my last criticism would be, what are your thoughts then on Trump's terrorist plan? That's very uh, anti-libertarian, you know, because like uh, economic effect of it is like it will increase. It's another tax on consumers. Plus, so vitamin water. <laughs> Drink, drink of champions. I didn't get paid to say that. What was the question again? The tariffs. What are, what are your thoughts on uh, his tariffs? Oh, well, here's the thing, man. Tariffs are terrible. Uh, you know, Jefferson learned that the hard way when he stalled out the economy for some time, you know, in a, in a recession because of, you know, the, the tariffs. They, they kill trade. Uh, but but here's the thing. He, Trump has weaponized the tariff, and when, when he makes those kind of threats, he does get a return on those. Uh, so, so I think that maybe... Uh, Back in the days of like mercantilism and and kind of like a 
you know, more more simplistic economy, not a globalist economy. Maybe ter you know tariffs are really bad, but it might be there might be a changing effect now in the, in the more uh, more global economy based on uh, you know basically you're threatening another country's economy with your economy, yeah. you know, and so. Uh, he, think about it this way, all right? Because your cameraman's—he's waving, he's, he's shaking his head. No, uh, what I'm saying is, think about it this way: if all if all the global economies are, are kind of based on each other at this point, um, and, every, and all in economics is really integrated, I think that. Uh, so much of our economy is legislated upon, right? Like, you know, all these trade deals and all this kind of stuff. So I think that uh, Trump is just trying to be a, a shrewd business person. And I think that he's trying to, you know, say, we have all this great stuff. We're going to we're going to withhold, uh, you know, your trade and impose tariffs on you as a as a like a sanction right mm -hmm. so he's, he's like I said he's weaponizing it so we'll see what happens but on principle tariffs have historically been right a, 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 a negative thing I'm just in uh, the depression right? right exactly yeah exactly so I'm, I guess I'm just positing both sides of the issue right right well no it's really good to see somebody who can be critical and not like yes. you know oh my god Bernie Sanders is awesome We're like oh I love Obama but you can't be critical of those policies Absolutely. Uh, yeah and last question uh, is taxation theft Taxation is definitely theft. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much. man. <laughs> <laughs>